Hey, this woman thought she was about to run his pockets because he got a $2.7 million settlement. It didn't count towards his income, though. Mm. And you went on Facebook before court and told everybody, I'm about to run this the pockets. Watch this, y'all. Stupid. Um, would you be in agreement for child support to be set at $307? For how three? Yes, ma'am. Like one hundred a piece. Three hundred and seven dollars would be the child support amount that would be ordered. Is that what is what we're asking? Are you in agreement or disagreement with that amount? <laughs> I'm at, I'm saying is that like three hundred per child? Do no, per it's child. three. Three total. Yes. No. Okay. Yeah, um, what is the, um, why are you in disagreement? They're boys. They're in, they're in sports. They're constantly eating. They're constantly growing. Um, everything is so expensive. It's, one is about to graduate soon and he's in, um, he's getting ready to do like all his other school activities. It's, I just don't agree with three hundred dollars at all. Now look, I don't know the whole backstory to it, but he said she was going on Facebook saying she was about to run this dude pockets, which means that she's doing it with malicious intent, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> hey, you're getting what you deserve, man. But shit, three hundred dollars for three kids, man. The dude got off easy with that, bro. I know some dudes that's paying four times that amount for one child, bro. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what he do for a living, but he can't be living that good for sure only paying that amount of child support man that is crazy i wonder what state that's in because i don't hear about shit like that too often ladies do you think the man you want would care about your past not for the correct man i think for the man i guess that's supposed to be with that woman he would look at it as the stepping stones that got her to be with him Some a woman's are. past does matter just like a man's future matters statistics shows that when a woman reaches a body count between five or six the likelihood for her to maintain a long-term relationship drops down to 20 percent that means that it matters to her and she will always be unsatisfied Imagine eating something and never feeling satisfied. You're gonna be like, mm. that's gonna suck. Feeling full, that's a good feeling. You settled, you are content. And women that sleep with a whole lot of men, they aren't content because they've been comparing sizes, bank accounts, height, the man that can raise her up and all of these type of things. So she becomes an unruly woman, meaning that she's for no man. She's only for herself and for the streets. Mm. Say, bro, as far as I'm concerned, a woman's past definitely matters. You know what I'm saying? Because it's going to make me look stupid if I'm not concerned with her past, dog. You'll be out there, you know, having a good time with your little boo or whatever the case may be. And then you realize that she is not the person you thought she was because for whatever reason, man, it's just, it's embarrassing, bro. You know, like imagine wifing up the girl that's ran through, bro. You meet her and then somebody shows you that right at the pandemic she was just advertising her of the whole time and busting it open but she ain't never showed you none of this so you thought you found something but whole time they got dudes that seen your girl busting it open on only fan because they paid a dollar 99. come on man let's be real dog if we're gonna be anything let's be faking for real it don't make no sense bro you don't want no girl that's ran through like that bro because dudes gonna make you feel some type of way if your girl ran through i done seen it firsthand partner i done been the guy that made say bro you sure you want what <laughs> okay <laughs> i go to school with her brother i know what she's like i don't think this is the one for you boy <laughs> breaking my heart huh play outfit what you said you said what play oh thank you this is good yeah, she down bad for this, though. Like, right in front of your boyfriend. Listen, let me tell y'all some real shit. Women can be very, very, very harsh when it comes to being with a guy and then seeing something that they know they really, really want. They will literally drop the guy like a bad habit, bro. She just did that. That's her dropping the dude that she with like a bad habit. He better take his ball and go home because she wants old boy right there. And it's clear cut. But he gonna probably stay with her after the fact. Bruh, the hardest thing I done heard this year was this. I ain't got a lot of no woman, because if she like me enough, she a lot of herself. Did y'all hear what I just said? 
I ain't got to lie to no woman. Because if she liked me enough, she would lie to herself. Lord. I ain't got to lie to no woman. If she liked me enough, she would lie to herself. Man. Y'all have a blessed day. Fellas, you know this to be true if you ever had what you would call a female friend. Even though I know you was trying to hit your female friend the whole time. But let's be real. She done came to you and told you about a dude that obviously ain't no good for her. Obviously don't really care about her. And she's not a priority to him. But she come to you with those stupid ass questions. Asking you what this text message mean. And what does this mean when he acts like this. When he doesn't say something. What does it mean? It mean he don't really fool with you like that. But guess what though. For weeks, months she will put up with this dude. And guess what she's doing to herself the whole time lying to herself the whole signs all of the red flags be right there in front of her and she is lying to herself to make her think that it's really not that big of a deal bro women do it all the time partner and i ain't gonna lie to you though if we're gonna be honest a lot of dudes do it too Yep, that brother starving, man. That boy went up to the stage and grabbed him a handful of money. Did y'all catch how she ran off? She was going to get a bouncer because she ain't finna go physically do nothing to this man herself. She was looking for help, man. Big old six foot seven, three hundred and thirty pound man. She wanted him to come and solve that problem and handle her lightweight, bro. <laughs> hey, bro, don't do no embarrassing shit like this, man. You on candy camera stealing money from the scribblers? You know she gotta go use that money to pay for her college tuition. You ain't gonna open the door for me? Thought you was a gentleman. Hey! You got nothing to say. Hey, what's going on? Yeah, you did the right thing, brother. You're supposed to pull off with the quickness. I think you could have seen that from a block away and just kept going, actually, if we're being honest. See, this is why a woman's past matters right here, dog. Think about this, dog. You meet your young lady and you think you got something, and then a picture like this resurfaces of that that she posted herself. I know you're gonna feel some type of way, man. Record for what? Like you gotta oh, record no, everything. Oh no, baby, can't. Okay, tell, 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 okay, tell, okay, tell him. Okay, tell him. Tell him. Bro, listen to what? Gentlemen. Hey, Carter, look at me, bro. Yes. Look at Buy me, bro. Flowers. Don't listen to that shit. We're yes. not buying flowers. Yes. We're not holding doors open. We're not putting our yes. fucking shirt on the on the on the pedal for a fucking rain, bro. Yes. For no, for yes. for what? Gentlemen. What do you teach your daughters? Finesse to niggas. finesse niggas, no, exactly. I'm glad you said that shit to the fucking camera, bro. You're not so so so. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Do y'all hear this? Yes. Do y'all hear this? Be gentlemen, bro. Be gentlemen, so that motherfucker can finesse y'all that who daughters is who teaching their daughters that. Man. Don't do that, bro. Do that. They don't like that. So if so, was your last nigga a gentleman? He was, and I finessed him. Exactly. So don't teach my sons that goofy ass shit, bro. <laughs> hey, swear to God, uh, you listening to me, bro? You listening to me, bro? Are you listening to me, bro? Quit playing with me, bro. I'm not. We're not doing that, bro. Get get out the car, man. We stay. Not fucking with that shit. We say, bro. At the same time, I ain't mad at buddy for that because oh, there are a lot of young ladies right now who are being taught, being groomed to be master manipulators and finesses of men straight up so you gotta kind of have your son on some defense though real talk he gotta be able to recognize when he getting played man when a woman is running game on him now that's sad if this is real i don't know if this is a skit or not but man how can you teach your sons to be a gentleman and teach your daughters to finesse that's a conflict of interest you sending your son out there into the wilderness with no spears no arrows no nothing he just out here blind and naked come on bro it don't make no damn sense i don't like that if this real she need to be evaluated mentally bro i hate you Fuego. say bro y'all really just post anything on the internet dog that boy said instead of cheating <laughs> hey bro hey shout out my nigga gucci Y'all just didn't really provide. You didn't provide either. What did you want me to bring? All well, you had to bring, bring was your mouth. Y'all didn't. Uh. <laughs> like, you, you, you couldn't even do me that. 
Hey, no lie, it really be that simple sometimes, bro. Like, a lot of dudes don't require much from their girl. They already got everything, credit good. They got houses, you know, stocks. They got money in the bank, all that kind of stuff, man. They don't require much from no girl but that mouth, that hot tour. That's it. And you don't even want to provide that. Man, they got women out here going half and half on the rent with niggas, and that's all he wanted you to bring to the table, and you wasn't doing it? You're crazy. The love I have for my woman is vicious. I'm coming for you, period. I'm not coming for anything else. I'm going to come for you before my mama sometime. I ain't going to lie. If you got me, you making my money triple up. You care about my kids. You care about me. Yeah. I'm coming for you. You could be like, all right, watch. I'm going to call my man real quick. Yeah. And I'm going to pull up. This I know is that's right. See, I ain't going to lie to y'all, bro. You know, it's a lot of dudes that feel like that about their girl. And I'm also going to keep it real with y'all. That girl that they feel their way about they don't feel the same way about the dude we'll let him crash out we'll be cheating on him having him dapping off the dude that she is using as her sneaky link all kind of shit dog i done seen it all bro real talk man like if you ever went to your girl job dog real talk it's a possibility that you didn't dapped off a nigga that trying to get her it is what it is dog it's a part of life bro but hey yo listen you never know for a fact, but at the same time, bro, like, you better be cautious of who you willing to crash out behind as far as these relationships go. Hey, I swear this is me, partner. Straight like that. I'm not finna stress over no party. My, t my kids know I love them. Real talk. I buy my kids things all the time. Spend quality time with them all the time. I am not finna stress out over no damn birthday party. I'ma let my baby mama do that. I don't give a damn. Just tell me how much it's all gonna cost. And don't piss me off with the price either. <laughs> Straight up. <laughs> yeah, you just trying to be... What the... Did you see... Ma'am? What? Call your window down. Oh, she crazy. She trying to have her weekend be messed up. Get out, please. I need to talk to you about that. Copper. Copper. Oh, he cuffing the door to the cart. Ugh. Good. 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 That's what she deserved. That's exactly what she deserved. She lucky we didn't do more. I know. You should be arrested. Say, man, you got to be gone for cause to do some dumb shit like that. Man, hit the police call with the damn basket. What are we doing here for real, for real? It don't make no damn sense. And then he handcuffed it to the car so you can't go nowhere. Are you going to tell your car up? Man, we got to use our brains, y'all. We have to be more intelligent than this. <laughs> I hate when niggas say, make sure you eat. Nah, f nigga, you make sure I eat. The f Oh, I hate mindless conversations. Like, just shut the fuck up. Fuck how my day went. Fuck how your day went. It was the same way as yesterday. The fuck is we talking about? I saw a meme the other day. The girl was like, before we link up, you better make sure you been fucked and sucked before you get here because I ain't got nothing to offer to you. <laughs> In that case, make sure your ass came here fed. God damn it. Because I ain't got no food for you. 58% <laughs> of employees in a 2019 survey have had a romantic relationship with a coworker. <sighs> Think about it. The, the woman that you are with right now has had an affair with somebody that she works with. But don't worry, it's over. That was a long time ago. It was a stupid thing. It was in the past. Yeah. Okay. 31% of employees say that they've hooked up with a colleague. 18% of respondents said that they met their spouse at work, while 22% of those who had an affair with a coworker said it was a serious long-term relationship. How common are workplace affairs? Man, I ain't even gonna hold you, bro. I believe that, man. You know what I'm saying? I done met several, you know, partners at the job that I worked at. It's, it, it's just gonna go down, bro. You gotta understand, though, you spending so much time at these places, bro, some gonna catch your eye eventually, brother. It is what it is. And some gonna catch your girl eye eventually if they got something worth catching. You see what I'm saying? Because, though, it's I ain't never really worked too many places where they ain't have some attractive women. 
I'm going to keep it real with you. I don't know too many places that I worked at that they didn't have at least two, three attractive women there. And you spending time with them and, you know, you blase, blase, all that, you, you know, you keep keying with them, woo the woo Bro, shit happens. That's all I'm going to say, man. That number, I wouldn't be surprised if in all actuality is actually harder. I mean, higher. Now he thinking that he could just call me and I'm just going to get up out my comfortable bed and come over his house to be with him and all of that i'm not doing that like i'm not dropping everything because i'm in the house and i'm walking around my mumu on feeling all comfortable and stuff you're not about to make me just come no i'm not going i don't understand why he think that that was okay to even call me and say come up over here like i'm not coming up over there i don't feel like it like i don't want to come but you know what i'm about to tell him that i'm not coming Say, bro, when you putting that Virginia in park and neutral and you just driving it the way you want to drive it and touching the back of the oven, they're going to be doing this kind of stuff for you, bro. It is what it is, man. They're going to lie to themselves. I, man, I think he really do like me. I'm going to just give him chance after chance. You know what I'm saying? I know he's dealing with other women, but at the same time, he really dropping it off, man. If you doing it, bro, I'm telling you, you get away with murder a lot of times. I'm not out here trying to teach you dudes how to... Not even trying to teach you, but tell you dudes to be out here to be, you know, doing that. But it, it can be done. You all right? Yeah, I am. I'm good. That, that little... You almost failed. You drunk? Almost. I am a little Who tipsy. Who you on the phone with? My daughter. You know your mom out here doing what she ain't supposed to be doing? Mm. Yes, I know. Because she grown. Mm, who was that man right there? That was my friend. Oh, I knew that was just sugar daddy when I seen him. Man, this dude crazy. <laughs> How you doing? I'm fine, sir. How you doing? What's your name? Billy Bell. Billy you Bell. Did you get you some of that sugar tonight? Yes, sir. Hey, ain't nothing wrong with that. <laughs> you can tear it up. <laughs> Hell yeah. That boy laughed funny. <laughs> you said them clothes coming off tonight? All brown sugar, and I don't care about the question he asked her, because. Hey, bro, my dog Billy wasn't playing no games. That boy said, I'm definitely tapping that ass later on for one. <laughs> and he not ashamed of it. He said, man, hey, that's me. <laughs> that's sick <'cause, laughs> y'all heard the last <laughs> four hours a week at that point hey but ain't this your girl oh yeah that's her how you know her she just following me man mm. followed you oh uh, she must be trying to get her followers up bruh or something like that come on man uh, i don't know bro because she just added me to her close friends oh shit her close friends mm -hmm. she must just think y'all like are real good friends or something i don't know but she you feel me she friendly so I don't, know. I don't know, bro. I don't think so. She talking about who got that handy and that honey pack to slide through. Handy mm -hmm. and honey pack. Look, I even got it right here. I'll show you. Oh, no. Nah. I mean, mm -hmm. hey, I ain't gonna lie. She like drinking, so she just must be trying to party or something because she wouldn't do that. She wouldn't do that to me. I ain't gonna lie. She just texting me right now. <laughs> she said, hey, me, she said where you at? Slide through. Where you slide through? Nah, I don't. I ain't gonna lie. That that's not her, cause she wouldn't sit. She wouldn't do that to me. She wouldn't you text you that. Yeah. Now nah, someone gotta have hacked her account or something, bro, cause that's not her. But she sent me a video. She throwing it back. Oh, uh, hey, bro. I came across a couple of dudes that I work with who was really naive like that, bro. I'm talking about almost to the T. It's sad actually, and they girls was messing over them, bro. I hope they change their ways by now, though. I truly do. Said, bro, people do to you things that they know they can get away with. It's that simple. Once you show them that you ain't going for it, they're going to have to make a decision. They're going to either have to move around, change their ways, or get, you know, or really just apply even more pressure. But at the same time, they know who to play with, bro. And Duke wasn't going for it. <laughs> that is a vile. That is disgusting. That is a vile. I can't. Wild. So everyone's just casually eating pizza or licking fingers every time like the dog eat there. Disgusting. I'ma keep it real with you, dog. I tend to not eat from most people's houses and things of that nature, but boy, if I know you got a pet and you got an inside pet and you really one of them animal type of people, I ain't messing with it. Cause I don't I didn't seen videos of people letting a damn cat hop on the stove, bruh, while they cooking. Come on now. Where they do that at? <laughs> 